One of the most profound things about Lillian is how she's really stayed the course and being constantly dedicated to helping Filipino immigrants. This takes a lot of commitment and a lot of sacrifice and she's done it consistently over the last 30 or so years directing the work of Filipinos for Affirmative Action and FAJ. I first met Lillian probably in the mid 70s. I really got to know her around 1979 when we were doing work around immigrant rights. I don't know if it was a conscious decision to get involved in social justice work. I went to college in the late 60s and early 70s. And students were getting involved in what was right there in front of them, like the anti-Vietnam War, ethnic studies, affirmative action. What she shows is a very deep and unswerving commitment and understanding about the lives of immigrants and what they need in order to transition into U.S. society. No two years are ever the same. There's always something new and exciting to get involved in. Lillian has inspired many youth in the Filipino community. She's mentored a lot of people to become leaders in the community. This work is not done. Some of the things that we were fighting for in 1980 when I started this organization are still with us. We hope that the work that, that we're doing here in our organization is preparing those future generations of activists. Yuri Kochiyama, she was a leader who was a broad thinker, who really saw what kind of issues that community was dealing with. Yuri would be very happy to know that somebody with such spirit, determination, and perseverance like Lillian is going to be recognized. You wonder sometimes whether anybody notices what you're doing and so by their asking me to accept this award it does make me feel that somebody is noticing 